It always presents a special challenge when we develop a new kind of car for the Porsche brand, precisely because we haven't been in the segment before. And the question of whether it matches the Porsche brand always looms in the background. The Panamera has one body style today, the body style of a four-door coupe. We were intrigued by the idea of developing another version for Porsche, in other words, to design a version of a sporty Panamera, a sports station wagon. I wouldn't actually call it a station wagon. We still have to find a good name for it. But once again, it is a perfect combination of functionality and an exterior that's still highly emotional and very sporty. The proportions are the crucial beginning of every project, and we worked many, many months on them before presenting them to the board. We found the most powerful design motif, which we further elaborated on now. We arrived with our clay model, which we had developed stylistically seen still back in Weissach. You mustn't forget that the whole thing stems from the Porsche 911, which had the essentials of many, many elements of Porsche's design DNA. So we reinterpreted them for the new product of a Panamera station wagon. A Porsche has the typical Porsche proportions. We build sports cars in every segment, even if we're dealing with something like a station wagon. That's why the height-width ratio is very dramatic here again, like with the Panamera production vehicle today. And so, naturally, we find the really typical Porsche features in this car. Take the pronounced wings. These wings are always higher than the middle area of the bonnet. Here we applied this long-standing DNA characteristic to the Panamera as well. A Porsche always has an air intake, and the result is that even in the front view, the car draws itself deeply into the road at times. This soft shoulder is designed as wide as possible, because ultimately that's the area where a Porsche radiates the most sex appeal. Yes, the rear of the car is certainly the greatest challenge. We never had that kind of car at Porsche before. But once again, we reinterpreted the motif in such a way that it incorporates Porsche's long-standing characteristics. We've emphasized the broad edge, basically borrowing it from the 911 Carrera. But we came up with an elegant idea, a three-dimensional Porsche signature that's really deep. And later, when the model's finished, it will be made of glass with an anthracite-colored finish that will have a truly high-end, three-dimensional look and feel to it. Variable aerodynamics is definitely a topic playing a major role for us. Because, after all, these are quite powerful vehicles in need of downthrust and variable spoiler geometry. Actually, for such a vehicle, for this type of station wagon, something like this has never been done before. We use such a show car for all these topics, so we can seize on certain issues, and also to test people's reactions to them a bit. What you're seeing here is a hard model that we've milled based on the clay model. With the hard model, we can file the lines far more precisely and optimize the forms. What we've got here is the Coke bottle shape, which is also typical for Porsche with the door being slightly narrower than the rear wing. So the basic shape of the vehicle already makes a dynamic impression. It looks as if it was driving when it's standing still. The design feature typical for the Panamera is the air slot here in the front wing. While we retained this long-standing characteristic motif, we've modified it quite a bit and kept it a lot crisper. And here, we integrated a feature reminiscent of the 918 Spider. The wing shape in the front diffuser that also ends with such a facet out here. So we have this three-dimensional wing shooting into the front section. 
Here, the indicators are going to be nicely integrated, so the whole thing is typically show car again, a very elegant and classy form. The width of the front section is emphasized, basically picking up the design motif of the Panamera, with the main headlights arranged horizontally. Naturally, we're going to elaborate on this in greater detail. There will be truly cutting-edge LED headlights, chrome-plated, painted, elevating the Porsche design language to a new level, with the lights as well. The see-through model is symmetrical. Above, the greenhouse, that's the driver's cab, it's now really see-through. Here is the first shot of the interior. This is where we can put the initial elements of the cockpit, and also a presentation of the headrests in order to let the viewers get an idea even now in the intermediate phase. The vehicle is really see-through. This polyester layer allows us to fine-tune the most detailed radiuses. The wheel panel, for instance, with the right radiuses. Here, we have worked in the correct joint widths, which will show up in the paint later. We gave this air intake a greater depth now in comparison to the last time, so we can integrate a grill element. <laughs> Seems to be okay up to here, and then it kind of bends off here. Probably because the bottom one comes up, it probably essentially has to do so. I think it's all right in the clay model. Okay. We want the whole thing to make a very light, very generous impression, yet still have the characteristics of a Porsche. So our tachometer is the highest point in the interior, with the center console rising in the front. In terms of ease of movement, we opted for a sensor button door opener. Here we are in the automotive workshop where we'll build the real final show car. Looking at this design study means looking into the future of Porsche.